Hey, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another video. I am Ashley for those of you who are new and I'm going to be doing a get ready with me video. So if you're interested, keep watching. Um, so today's video, uh, it's going to be a quick, um, get ready with me. Uh, using some of my favorite products that I have in my collection and, uh, I've already done my eyebrows like I normally do off camera. So jumping in right in, I'm going to be using my glass skin primer from, um, makeup revolution. And with this primer, you only need like two drops at the max because it's, it's supposed to be like a glass skin, give you a glass skin look. But anywho, I'm going to be using a couple primers. So this one I recently got from Myers and it was on clearance. Uh, it is the L'Oreal Lumi Liquid Glow Illuminator and I got this in the color um, w101 and that is golden um i got it on clearance for five dollars and 71 cents so i'm just gonna take a little bit of this and it's gonna give me like this golden glow under my makeup yeah so just a few dots Alrighty. so the so the third primer that i'm going to use today is going to be my elf matte putty primer and um I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and put it on the back of my hand. I'm gonna just kind of like pull my skin where I have those huge pores like around this area. Alrighty guys, so I am going to go ahead and do my eyes first. I'm gonna prime it using my ELF 16, uh, 16 hour camo concealer. And this is in the shade deep chestnut and it's the oh, <laughs> and it's the matte one it is the matte alright guys so I'm just going to blend that in you see this is the Morphe M224 brush it was getting on my eyelash that's never happened before Alright guys, so now I'm going to just take a little bit of loose powder and this is my black opal powder and it is a translucent powder. It's the oil blocking powder and I'm just going to take a little bit on my brush and I'm going to kick off the rest. And I'm just going to set like my whole face lightly. Even my eye area. Just to kind of give me a little madness, just a little bit under my foundation, just so I could feel okay. So for my eye look today, I want to do like a, um, like nothing too, too much, just like a, just a nice natural like golden bronzy type eye look so i'm going to be using this nubian the let me see the nubian palette by julia's place and this is the mini palette um you get six shades i'm going to be using probably three maybe four of them so starting let me see i'm going to start with this really light brown shade here for a transition color. I'm just gonna sweep it right under my brow bone. because this is a day party it's a backyard day party i don't want to look too um dramatic plus the the lip shade that i chose is really bright and bold so i just want to go in with the eye being a bit more toned down i 
Okay, so now I'm going to go into my crease and I'm going to use this darker brown shade here in the corner. I'm just going to start right over here and bring it up. I'm just going to blend All right, so for my lid I'm going to use like this golden bronzy like type color Dip this brush in. Here we go. All right, so now I'm going to dip into um, my Juvia's Place, the Chocolates palette. And I'm just going to uh, use one shade from here. And it's going to be this darker, deeper shade here. I'm just going to place that on the outside. So I'm just going to line my eyes with the Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Water Retractable Eyeliner. And I'm just going to earth kind of tight line. Alright guys. We are going to move on to foundation. I'm going to come back to the bottom a little bit later on in the video. So moving on to foundation. I am thinking, I am wanting to mix two, and they're totally different foundations. I'm thinking of mixing this uh, L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour with the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop. Um, I think I am. I really wanted to go for the fresh wear, but I'm scared because the party's going to be outside. So I just want to mix a little bit of this one. If I can get it to come out. I swear after a while, this foundation, it just doesn't do right in the bottle. And this is the color um, cappuccino. Now I'm going to take my fresh wear and I have this in the shade copper. This one's a little deeper than cappuccino. Um, I'm going to just dab that in. Or maybe it's not. <laughs> maybe it's about the same shade. It just looks like that on my hands. I'm going with a brush first and Work it in. I don't know if I said the fresh wear is in the color copper 515. I think 
think these are some wet and wild brushes. My mom who got me these for Mother's Day. They are really nice and soft. I love these. probably should have um color corrected but I didn't so that's okay if I need to add a little bit more foundation and I will but you know sometimes I just don't feel like all of that I haven't been feeling like that for the past few videos I am gonna add a little bit more of this can't stop won't stop and I'm gonna take a sponge and blend it out here a little bit more coverage in the chin area in this particular area to my concealer and I'm going to use the elf camo concealer the same one that I used earlier for under my brow and this one is deep in deep chestnut I love that concealer. I love the um the hydrating one too. They are really good concealers. All right, so for my contour today, I'm gonna to use the Infallible Full Wear Concealer, and this is in the color Truffle. Now, this is super, super, super dark, and I would never normally use something this dark to contour with, but this is all I have to work with. Um, Yeah, so we just gonna um, use this sparingly, like dots, like literally just dots. My wig is in the way. I might need to cut that piece off. Okay. 
All right, so for bronzer, I'm going to be using this CoverGirl Full Spectrum. And this is in the shade, uh, what is this? Uh, Warmth FS110. And this doesn't even seem like it's deep enough to be a bronzer for me. I usually like my bronzers to be a little bit darker and warmer. But um, I got this online clearance for like $2 at Big Lots. So... We gonna use it and whatever. See what we can do with it. So and this would probably work better for somebody that's a little bit lighter than me. Alrighty guys, so for blush, I am going to be using my NYX Sweet Cheeks, and this is in the color Citron Rose. I believe I have featured this in a video that I recently did. It's becoming one of my favorites. NYX really makes some nice blushes. They really do. All right, so for highlight, we're going to use the Wet n Wild, and this is uh, Awesome, I don't even know, Awesome Blossom, you guys. Okay, and I'm going to be taking this nude a uh, L'Oreal pencil. Let me see. This is the infallible. Let me see. Yeah, infallible long wear eye pencil. And this is in the shade Nude. I'm going to just line my um, waterline. Alright guys, so um, for my lips, I'm going to line my lips with the Makeup Revolution. And this is a Satin Kiss Lip Liner and it's in a shade TGIF. Okay, now I'm going to take my favorite shade of lip, liquid lipstick in the color Hot Shot from Morphe. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face. Hopefully, my um, hopefully my eyelashes are dry when I go to do this. But I'm gonna go ahead and set my face using the Wet n Wild Natural Finish Spray. I'm gonna let this dry down a little bit, and I will be back with my final look. Alrighty guys, so this is the final look. I went ahead and put on my eyelashes. Um, if you guys are interested, the lashes that I am wearing today is the uh, Bring Home, well, Kiss. It's uh, the Lux Extensions Collection, the Ultimate Lash Extension. This is the Russian volume is what it's called, but it comes in this kind of box. Uh, I think they were 10% off. Admires is saying it has a super slim band lightweight and flexible wear and they were very easy to put on guys so yeah really cute they kind of do remind you of lash excuse me lash, ex lash extensions so yep this is it uh thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and until next time guys